All right, everybody, you all right? Welcome back to KWPR, Koi Water Plants and Rants. I'm Martin, as you all know. A bit breezy, starting to turn a bit cold. I'm trying to get a bit of stuff in before the uh, downpour comes in. Those of you uh, sort of like living up um, Scotland and uh, up in Cumbria, uh, hope everything is okay. I saw a lot of flooding and everything on the news. Um, so, hope you're. Uh, Hope everything's okay, your ponds are okay, you're not too badly affected. But, a bit of bad news. After 20 plus years of loyal service, I'm afraid it's passed on. Yeah, the Hoover has given up the ghost. It gave me 10 years of service, and before that, uh, the father in law had it. And I believe before that, it, he picked it up at a car boot sale. So, no oh, Aussie Hoover. And like I said, it's given good long service, but I'm afraid um, it gave up the ghost. Um, still works, still turn it on, but it sort of goes on, cuts off, goes on, cuts off. There's no 30 second, it's sort of like constantly bleeping. Um, I'm sure if I was electronically minded, um, I could do something to the circuit board because the circuit board is very basic, but I'm not electronically minded. I was an operator, not a not a technician. But anyway, so because I can clean my filters with it, that's the only way I clean my filters. Well, you've uh, got myself the uh, this is the Oasi Pontec, as it's called, Pondomatic. Uh, it's supposed to be a direct replacement to that. So um, we'll get that out, do an unboxing, and we'll have a little look. So first into the bowl, there's my Tancho uh, shower, which I, about a year ago I think I purchased this one. I have to double check, it's looking a bit veiny at the moment, but that's probably because I've netted it. Because uh, I've netted it and um, a little bit stressed out. Definitely packed some growth on this year, filled out for sure, if anything like that. Um, I'll double check what the measurement was last time I had it in the bowl. But just have a little look see. Come on. Flip round underneath. Nice and clean underneath. No ulcers. Then a quick measure up. I've got where are you at there? Uh, fifty cm. So that ain't bad. Um Yeah, so that was 50. I'll just uh, do a couple of scrapes just to make sure everything's okay going into winter. And then I'll we'll put it back and I'll try and get Yummy out. Come on.
Again on that, get a bit more. Come on. Try and get a bit off the other side. That's better. Go on, in the salt, mate. Next in the bowl is Yanni. Uh, uh, I'm in a real gross spurt. Again, I'll post up um, the size of Yanni last time I measured him. Uh, uh, not sexed it yet. Thinking possibly male, it's hard to say. Um, but yeah, Yanni's definitely put some size on this year. Just have a quick look. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, looking fine underneath. Quick measure up. Again, that's a 50, 50 cm. So, yeah, happy with that. Quick scrape again. Get Yami back in the water. Oh. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Should make 60 next year, easy. So next into the bowl is uh, Patch. Is she going to touch 60 this year? Uh, I think she was 55 last time I measured. I don't think she has grown that much lengthwise. She's filled out. Definitely filled out. While well, she's facing that way, let's have a quick measure. Go on. Stay still. I can't read that. What's that say? Fifty nine, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, fifty nine, not quite sixty. 
double check that again. Get her lips right up. No, there. At the beginning of the line, Amanda. Uh, patch. Yeah, 59. I'm not going to cheat myself. So not quite 60. I was hoping for 60, but never mind. Fifty nine CM ain't bad. Lovely specimen. Surprised she did spawn this year, but No, that's not shimmy, that is Sumi coming through because there's patch there, patch there. So she has got a bit more Sumi coming through, maybe balance it out on the other side there instead of being all down one side, which would be quite nice. And like I said, she's only three, so yeah, not bad at all. Let's get her back in. Come on, darling. In you go. Last one in the bowl for day because it's starting to get a bit chilly and I don't want the water to cool down too much is uh, the Adam Byer Grow and Show um, fish just uh, out of my own interest uh, not as growing as fast as uh, a lot of the people who's entered the competition I think um, but we'll find out in a minute giving you a lot of a sneak peek but health wise and skin quality and everything like that you can, you can ask for better Come on. Yeah, climb underneath. Quick measure up. I ain't got the goggles on, so I'm struggling. Thirty-two from twenty-six. I think it was. So thirty-two from twenty-six. Yeah, not brilliant. Um, 5cm in a few months but we'll see ya uh, see what it's like after winter and uh, we'll take it from there I was hoping for a bit more growth than that but obviously in the main pond and not growing on pond of, um, the two litlands are having to compete with the bigger fish for food so that does put them at a bit of a disadvantage but we'll see I mean it's still cracking quality I mean, you cannot deny the quality from Adam Bayer Koi Farm. You really cannot. Uh, it was, I mean, it's really, really good quality. But get it in the uh, get it in the sock. Get it back into the pond, and we'll call it for a day for a day because the uh, source heat pump has come on, and obviously that's blowing cold air straight out of the uh, bowl. So. So let's uh, just done these scrapes, uh, scraped all three of them. Uh, you only saw me scrape two, but I did scrape all three of them. Um, all come back clear. Well, I say clear, I found one dead fluke. Uh, and that was on the Tancho shower. Um, so, you know, one dead fluke. I did have flukes a few weeks back, so um, possibly to be expected. Like I said, it weren't live wriggling and that like as it didn't. There's just the one, so uh, just keep an eye out. Um, but you know, no costier, no chilo, um, no masses of flutes. 
so nothing all, all clear thankfully um, so yeah all good going into winter um, yeah 59 <laughs> I was hoping she made 60 but let's see if we can get them to come up they're all a bit spooked because I've had the net out I'm just wondering if patch is 59 I'm just a wondering if Amanda's were over 60 now. Because lengthwise, I think Amanda's bigger. Just try and get the two of them together. Yeah, I reckon there's a centimetre or two in it. So do I get Amanda out? I don't want to get them out unnecessarily, so. It'd be nice to have the two of them up together. Chad actually has put a lot on this year. He was sort of like, you know, he was quite stunted for a while, and then also this year he's had a right row in there. So if we can get Patch and Amanda together, side by side, and we can try putting a bit of food in. Amanda's not a stick, because I'm still convinced Amanda is a man. Um, but if it is a boy, I mean, he's, uh, he's a good sight for a fella, that's for sure. I definitely think, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, go on. I do, I reckon he's a good couple of CMs longer. Do I get him out? You know, is it fair on the fish? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You want to know, don't you? All right, I'll see if I can catch him. Well, he's hit the bowl and he's having a bit of a bleed from the gills. Um, I've said this before, if that does happen, don't panic. Um, it is normally girls that do that, so, but I'll tell you what, um, I thought Patch was heavy, but God, he was heavy getting out, or she was heavy getting out. But come on, let's uh, do a measure up. Get him back in before it gets too stressed. <laughs> I need the goggles. Christmas list. Come on. Calm down. Back. Back. There's your nose on the line. Just over 62, 62 and a half cm. Look at the chunkiness of that. Right, <laughs> well impressed. Right, getting back in. In uh, it, she, 62 and a half cm. Go on. So, 62 and a half. Not bad. Not bad at all. Never going to get 80s, not in this pond. Um, well, you say never. Um, fish, as it happens, don't tend to, uh, they say, you know, they grow to their environments, not the koi. Koi will keep on growing if they've got the right breeding, right food, right water conditions. They will keep on growing. Um, so, yeah, happy with that. Um, I knew you lot wanted to see anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get the stuff packed away, get the cover back on and decide what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Um, 
think I'm going to cover up the back of shower as well. All right, catch you in a minute. So, uh, first out of the box. Uh, first thing I noticed, as soon as you open up the box, uh, um, even though the box is the right way round, the Hoover seems to be upside down. So let's take it out. So you get two, three, four, but I don't think they're as long as the original ones. Cheaper made, uh, thinner. So where's the evacuation hose then? Ah. Right. Where's the evacuation hose? Again, that's smaller. nozzles. So that one which is adjustable. An odd shaped one. And then like a crevice tool. <laughs> so. Uh, so inside the end I've got the foam that up pretty much the same twist take that off and then you take the foam off so that means it'll be the yeah, it's a same stock system so compared to the original so far everything seems to be a lot cheaper and I'll prove that to you on the original Hoover and uh, you can see there the size difference and you can feel the quality of material this feels a lot cheaper and then the diameter is a lot smaller which just goes in just goes in just to push in whereas the uh, on the other one it was a twist and locking whether that works better or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. You might get a better, better quality suction out of it. And with the original one, um, you had the same free fittings, plus uh, sort of like a wide head one with a rubber fit on it, plus another one with a brush on it. Uh, so there's a lot more fitting found. It came with um, side holders on the Hoover where you put all your attachments. So you seem to be getting a little bit less for your money. Um, nothing new there though, is there today standards? I mean, it weren't expensive, you know, it's not like the real expensive OLC packing cleans. You can go up to 4 nearly 500 quid for some of them, but I had to get this quick, uh, as you know, because it's our cleaner filters out. So we'll give it a test a little later on. To see how it runs it should work on the same time i think 25 to 30 seconds of sucking or until the 30 litre chamber's full and it switches off everything evacuates out and, um, and 
and then once it's empty, you should get a bleep, sort of three bleeps, and then it should fire up again and start sucking again. But we'll see how it performs compared to the other one, see whether it's a lot quieter or not, and then we'll take it from there. So, uh, first problem with the uh, new um, back is the uh, hose isn't as long as the old one. You've got plenty of spare left over to uh, reach the pond. Um, no big drama if I can get around that. Uh, seems a bit quieter, uh, probably because it's new and that lot. Uh, and it's fucking okay. Yeah, I know it's a strange way of uh, doing your pond, but it's the way I do mine. And to be truthful, it actually cleans it out really well. Um, yeah. So, I'll get back to you when it's uh, all finished. And I'll give you a report. So, conclusions on the Hoover. Yeah. Uh, for 100 notes. Um, it's not bad, quite powerful, 1400 watt motor. Uh, a little disappointed on the um, length of the two hoses, the uh, the waste hose and the actual main suction hose. It's about a metre, well, it must be over a metre shorter. Probably, I'll call it a metre shorter than what the other one was. And, um, fish misbehaving. Feeder must have gone off. But, uh, all in all, yeah, it works really well. Um, and like I said, if you want to go for the full-on ORZ um, Mark IV, I can't remember what the model is and that on, you want to spend £400, you know, by all means spend the £400, but you know, you've got a cheap budget Hoover that does the job, um, then yeah, the ORZ Pontec one is absolutely fine. You know, works brilliant. I suppose it's just going to be the test of time whether I'm going to get 20 years of service out of this one or not. Anyway, quick look at the fish. So I've got the cover on around the back of the shower. You can see the uh, mind your own business behind there. Um, so that's all on, so that's all enclosed, keeping the tool on the top. The toys there. And a quick little bit of um, Where's Raven? Yeah. She was there. But yeah, um, I didn't get to uh, measure up everybody. You know, the other two bolts are contaminated. Uh, I wasn't going to put them in there, but I've done the main ones I wanted to do. Uh, quick L check, crates and that lot, and all of them. So yeah, quite happy. Every, everybody seems looks fine. Auto feed is going to have to come off. I may try and put that on again. I don't know. But I'm still. I was going to put the extra cover on, but I don't know. I mean, temperatures are supposed to be dropping. I mean, the air force heat pump is working away right now. But I think, sort of like, for giving a bit to the environment and. Um, put my wallet, I think it might be an idea to actually yeah, put the uh, extra cover on, remove the feeder and then I'll try and lift something up so I can still use the feeder, keep temperatures a little bit high. A little clue there if you're playing with Wally. But yeah, alright, so I'm going to go wash the other uh, cover off, go get that and uh, Gary wash it off and probably try and put it in place. Now, here's a question for you. Last minute, I know it's a digging. Um, pan net. Now, the problem I have with this one is that, even, yeah, although it's a pan net, it's great for guiding the fish, but actually for netting them and bringing them to the side so I can get the sock on them, as you can see, there's not a great deal of give in depth wise, and the fish just go whoop, over the side there. Now, the handle is a screw handle and it's a screw neck. 
Now all the decent pan nets, sort of like uh, Norfine and stuff like that I've seen, are uh, the click heads. And as much as I've researched on Tinterweb, I've not been able to find... The spread goes on for a half a mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, there you go, so you can see thread. Um, now does anybody know where I can get a decent pan net that's got a, you know, which comes down to probably about there or something like that when you've got the fish in it. That is the screw thread because the handle's brilliant and I don't want to change the handle. Um, so if anybody can let me know where I can get one of them from, um, I greatly appreciate you. I've not been able to find them uh, as much as I've looked. Might be looking in the wrong places. But yeah, like I say, great net for guiding the fish, but to actually pulling them to the side so I can get the sock on them, yeah, no good. No good whatsoever. But that's it. If I was in a raid pond, it'd probably be a bit different because I can just sort of scoop it in and then like that. But because I'm in ground, I need one with a little bit of depth where I can just sort of like pull them in like that and then scoop out. So appreciate that if you can. Thank you. Oh, darkness has fallen in. Um, so darkness has fallen in. Covers are all on. Um, I haven't sealed the sides up, so what I do down these bits here is uh, go around the bubble wrap, all the way around the edges. Double layer of bubble wrap, just to seal it all off and prevent any wind coldness getting in any warm air getting out obviously you've got to allow for gas exchanges so there are places around where gaseous airs can get out but yeah it's done for another winter uh like i said it does seem two minutes ago since he uh, took the covers off but it's not the worry it's not the end of the videos uh, i'll be doing bits and pieces throughout winter keeping them going um I've got to go in now because uh, the trick and treaters are starting to make their way around. So, um, got to answer the door, don't need a costume to scare the kids to death. Yeah, all right, and guys, so I'm gonna go in, warm up, and have a brew because it's a bit cool. I'll see you in a minute. So oh, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, sad. Covers going on. Um, not technically shutting the pond down, some people say, but yeah, covering it up for winter. Um, some people are considering it a little bit early, saying no, you don't want to cover up yet. You need to keep an eye on your fish and that lot. Yeah, good valid point. But what you've got to think about is uh, the temperature swings at night. Um, are now becoming quite drastic compared to daytime temperatures and that does tend to upset your fish a little bit um, anything more than two degrees swing in water temperature uh, will get them a bit irritated uh, you may see a bit of flashing or something like that and you can't work out why uh, it can be sort of like because of the temperature swings it can irritate them a little bit you know a bit like you and me <laughs> if it suddenly come out of the hot and then go into the cold you're like oh, for god's sake uh, but yeah so um before i go uh i just want to say a couple of things new channel to check out if you haven't seen um delightful couple on the uh isle of white uh wayside koi uh, i'll pop the link down in the description and that lot go down check them out uh <laughs> it's a quite funny couple really yeah very funny and uh yeah but like i said go down check them out and uh, i'd also like to say um to vince and sue um 
hope it's not too bad guys um, and get better soon it's, it's like you know need your back uh, for those of you who know, don't know who Vincent Sue is it's Twisted Koi uh, unfortunately they've uh, both come down with Covid uh, soldiering on um, so like I said get well soon guys I hope that ain't too, too bad for you and uh, hope to see you back on your feet as soon as possible anyway so knock it on the head and uh, did you notice the mugs <laughs> slipped them in there first mug was from uh, budget koi keeping Leon um, sorry budget pong keeping and uh, second one uh, was from uh, Lou Magro um, the French koi connection so that's two mugs in my collection now uh, looking for more <laughs> All right, guys, stay safe, look after yourselves, and remember, it ain't a hobby, it's a lifestyle. See you soon.